Hey friends, it's Travplay, here to help in your journey to Elite Smash. Today I'm going to show you how to beat the hero from Final Fantasy VII, Cloud Strife. And like always, I'll show you what moves to respect and what weaknesses to exploit. Let's get right into it. The move that evokes fear in Cloud's opponents is his Limit Break. Once fully charged, it increases his movement speed and makes each of his special moves deadly. He can reach limit by charging for several seconds and then dealing and taking damage. When you see that blue glow around Cloud, be on your guard. He just went Super Saiyan. This is your time to play defensively. Don't use any lagging moves and make sure to shield frequently, but mix it up. Sometimes throw him off by playing aggressive even with limit. Cloud's limit got nerfed from Smash 4 where it now lasts only 15 seconds, so he'll be looking to use it on you soon. His down special, Finishing Touch, doesn't deal much damage, but its knockback is crazy powerful. It doesn't reach as far as it did in Smash 4, so it's not used as often. His blue cross slash is his most iconic kill option. Avoid it or shield it. It has surprisingly little end lag, so you've got to throw out a fast move to punish it. Cross slash is especially deadly when used off the ledge. You need to anticipate this and recover around it. His blue blade... Ugh. Ugh. His... His, uh... His blue blade beam can go through most projectiles and it hits multiple times. If you shield this move, make sure you hold it all the way through it. Cloud has lag at the end of it, so he usually can't reach you soon enough to punish, so move away. Don't try to spot dodge or roll around this move, it's way too risky. His limit up special is called Klim Hazard, and it goes much higher and hits much harder than the normal version. Be careful attacking Cloud's shield because this can be used as a deadly out of shield option. It also improves his recovery and is harder to edge guard than normal Klim Hazard. Cloud's aerials and smash attacks deal a lot of shield pressure, and with proper spacing can be safe on shield. You need to be careful how you respond to these shield pressuring moves. Don't fall into the trap of always attacking out of shield. He's usually trying to bait you into moving out of shield, but it's a bad idea. Cloud's moves will slow you down and he'll usually get the first hit. If your punish won't land in time, then don't do it. But don't let him get away from your shield pressure either. Cloud's Klim Hazard proves to be a good out of shield option. It's fast and knocks you away to safe distance. I see lower level Cloud players spamming this move all the time, but it's not safe on shield. If you shield him going up, make sure to hold it or roll away for when he comes down. The main thing to keep in mind here is just be careful attacking Cloud's shield. If you attack his shield, make sure it's a move with a quick cooldown so you can shield before he hits you. Before I get into the weaknesses, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. I'd really appreciate it and it helps a ton. Cloud's grab game is terrible because it doesn't lead in guaranteed combos and none of them kill you until like 300%. So shielding often against him is a safer route, but he'll usually try to shield poke you instead of grabbing it. You can exploit this by anticipating his aggressive playstyle and attacking out a shield against his shield pressure. If he does end up grabbing you, then you know there's not much to worry about. Cloud's number one weakness is his recovery. His up B has no horizontal movement, and it only has a hitbox in front of him. There's plenty of space for you to hit him from above or behind. Because his up B goes above the stage, he's extremely susceptible to getting gimped like so. And like so. And like so. If he has limit, his recovery is a completely different story. He can recover from very low, but usually Cloud doesn't want to waste his limit on a recovery. He wants to spend it on a cross slash instead. So when Cloud has a limit off stage, he'll usually jump early or air dodge to the ledge. You can anticipate this and knock him away. Do whatever you can to get Cloud off the stage and then exploit his weak recovery. And then have fun beating Cloud. Yeah. 
Check out my growing playlist of how to beat all the characters in Smash Ultimate. Let me know in the comments below which character you'd like me to make a video of next. See ya!